Hi guys, Becky here. Uh, today I'm joined with Bushwhacker Mam. So we thought we'd come out today and do a long term review on both of our sleeping bags that we use on a regular basis. So we've had our bags over more than a year probably now. So we're just going to tell you a bit of an update on our bags and uh, review them so stay tuned so my bag is the Rabbitscent 900 I've had this for about a year and um, I've never regretted buying it since so I've done a review when I first got the bag so if you want to check that out you can talking through the whole bag but this is just going to tell you how I feel after I've had it for so long. How long have you had it now, Bex? About a year or less than a year, because you've had yours more than mine. Um, so, the bag is obviously ducked down and it's still very, um, what's the word you use? Puffy. <laughs> Still full of down. Yeah, still full of down. Have you lost? Have you lost feathers or not? Or a few? I think I've lost a few feathers from the bag. Um, obviously, when it gets compressed a lot, um, it doesn't come back up as much. But um, I've used it pretty much every weekend um, since I've had it. Just a few nights then. Yeah, so it's been used a lot um, so it's done really well I feel the inside the toggles it still tightens exactly like it used to all through the winter I use the toggles to tighten the front bit so that I, it would keep me warm the zip has exactly the same it's still durable it's still really strong still rubbish <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and I'll just give you a close-up on that so there's the toggles there's one and there's the other one what them toggles do Bushwhacker Man will demonstrate is it just tightens the hood of my sleeping bag so when my head's in there it will fit around my head shape you have to take a lot out of these don't you? yeah and that one just covers my shoulders so it's still in good shape aren't they? Mm -hmm. and you use them all the time? yeah well through the winter months not now it's summer so the build quality is good So throughout the year I have ground dwelled in the bag, I have slept in a hammock, I've slept on the raised beds or just straight on the floor with this bag and um, in every situation it has performed really well for me. It has got covered in like dew and it's still managed to keep its heat. So when I first got the bag I wasn't too sure as duck down usually loses its heat when it um, gets damp or wet so that was putting me off with it but apart from that I've kept it dry when it's rained and it still kept its heat when it has got a little bit wet now and then. Um, so yeah now in the summer months it is quite hot to sleep in so I usually open the whole thing up and use it as kind of a duvet instead of a mummy bag so yeah so what what temperature ranges have you been in that bag I've been down to minus 12 and now in the summer it's, it's like 
17, isn't it? Something like that. So oh, a big night, range yeah. Yeah. of temperatures it's been in. So you'd say it's a good four season, seasons. Yeah, bad. definitely. And um, I wouldn't say I'm an extremely cold sleeper, but women obviously but they tend to get colder, don't they, at night? And so it's kept me really warm. I get really warm in it. Another aspect I like in the summer is the zip will go up. So reversible, reversible zip. And um, two-way zip, yeah. Yeah, I can just put my foot out or my leg out and keep my core covered and put my leg out so that's what I like about that especially now it's hot alright guys so I'm going to review my bag after roughly a year and a half of use it's uh, been everywhere with me you know I've slept out in the winter and, and summer months in it. Uh, it's been on boat trips, car journeys, in multiple rucksacks, compressed in different smaller rucksacks. What I want to say is the outer bag that it comes if, comes with because I had a you know I've had a few bags over the years. The bag has been absolutely brilliant. The compression sack, all the buckles still work. The toggle still great on the top, still operates really well. So the bag alone, I think the bag's made of the same material. You know, the outer bag compression sacks made of the same material as the as the sleeping bag. But can't say enough about this bag. Year and a half in, still in good shape. You know, I've put it in the wash a few times and you've seen me, you know, on my channel, Mrs. Bushwhacker's even had it in the river washing it. You know, it's taken some abuse. Uh, good thing about it, it's reversible. So, you know, if one side does, does get a bit dirty or whatever, you can, you know, or the inside gets a bit dirty, you can reverse it around, which I've done a few times. Uh, still lovely and warm. Uh, you know, a bit of clothing mess on the on the Velcro. Apart from that, brilliant. You know, foot box a little bit frayed. Zip still in good working order. You know, great zip on that. So I'm still using it this time of year. Do pretty much what Becky does. You know, use use it as a as a quilt. Or, you know, reversible zip again. Two way zip, sorry. So you can uh, have your feet feet out of it. Uh, really impressed with the, the hanging tags for hanging it up. You know, when it's been damp. Dries really fast. You know, really impressed with the, the drying side of this bag. Comfort. Comfort's been beautiful. It's it's a, quite a large bag, so for you sort of bigger guys, it's uh, it's really really comfortable. It is a Cathenia Defence Four. I should have brought my compression sack. I didn't bring it. So there she is. Um, would I buy another one when it wears out? Yeah, definitely. I definitely would. I'm quite impressed with the synthetic. You know, we've been in some cold temperatures with it. I've done the beast from the east in this, obviously, I've, in conjunction with a couple of wool blankets, but it was absolutely brilliant. It's been wet, same as Becky, slept in loads of different environments. So, overall, long term, year and a half's use, 10 out of 10. Right, shall we compare the two now? Yeah, let's let's put them side by side and we'll go through the pros and cons of, <laughs> right. of the bags after a year and a half. 
So just by uh, looking at the bags, you can tell mine's much prettier. Um, but yeah, they're similar length, aren't they? Similar length. Mine's wider, like we said before. Mine's got the larger foot box. Uh, yeah. Synthetic Duck and down. down. Uh, I think they both stood up to... Well, yours is a bit newer than mine, but yours, yours yeah. is yours is leaking a few feathers. I've seen yeah. it on Mrs. Mrs. Bushwhacker. If you're new to the channel, that's my wife. She, you know, she's been out some mornings, and she looks like a chicken because she's covered in hair. <laughs> so they do they do lo lose a few feathers now and again, don't they? Mm. You got the giggles yeah. there, Becky. Um, they both have tags, don't they? So. Yeah, both good hanging tags. Impressed with them. My one's getting still dirty. On there. Yeah, both got good tags. Yeah. You're still really warm. Mine's really warm. We we'll see this winter then. See if it's, you know, if it's lost any of, yeah. of, of its heat properties. See, I've never slept in yours, so I wouldn't know how um, how warm it is. I'm not uh, brave enough to face this stench. <laughs> no, but yeah, it's a good, it's a good bag. You'll have to try it one day, Becky, and then you can. Yeah. You can make the um, comparison. I have been in yours, haven't I? No, I don't think you have. I've, I've been. I haven't done a night, but I've been in, in have you? inside it. Yeah. Oh right. Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice bag. But it it lacks a few issues. You know, compared to this, see, I love the center zip on this. I love the Velcro tabs, which, you know, yours has got the side zip, isn't it? Yeah. So how do you find getting in and out of a hammock with a side zip? I find it fine. A lot of people have asked me about the side zip when I'm sleeping in a hammock. And, yeah, I think I'd, I move quite a lot in my sleep and it doesn't really, it doesn't, spin round and get caught on the zip it just it's fine I feel it's I'm left-handed so I preferred getting the zip on my left side but aren't you restricted how, how you have your hammock in regards to getting out because the zips on that side have you always got to lay your sleeping bag no with that zip I don't facing normally out do that so you get out regardless yeah I'll just flip the the top over and get out that way oh so that doesn't that's not yeah, an issue for you it doesn't really bother me but if it does then maybe a middle zips for you if that's what you prefer i feel you're just sleeping in it and it, it's just five minutes in the morning with the zip you'll just have to step out a different way so it doesn't bother me that much and look, you can see now, guys, that it's attracting, you know, all the insects because they think it's a flower where mine just blends in with the environment. You know, Becky's yeah. is attracting a lot more, a lot more, uh, <laughs> a lot more insects than, than mine. Uh, what we're going to do in a bit, we're going to do the getting out test, which we, we didn't do on our last review of these bags. No. So, so you always thought my zips were quite dodgy, but they've lasted this long. They've done well for me. I don't feel like I need a really quick zip. I don't get up at night uh, for the toilet where you get up quite a lot. But you're young at the moment. Would that suit someone older that does get up at night? I don't know. <laughs> or that's well potty trained. But as you get older, you'll you'll probably start. I don't know if any of you guys, you know, get up on a regular basis. Probably too much tea at night, but you know, I, I like that trusty zip to get out at night. Yeah. Where you you once once your head hits that, you're you're gone, isn't you? Yeah, is that the so bag or is it you? Is I, it the bag? I think it's a bit of both. Nice bag and, and a bit of you. Yeah, it's just so comfy having this duck down uh, cover and bottom it's um, really cosy and it's 
it also kind of sinks into you so it adjusts to your body I just feel like it's an amazing bag and I'd definitely buy one again uh, if I was to get a new bag I feel as it's stuck down people are put off because of the dampness like you for instance you could just get a bivy bag in some situations to go over the top but would you you see me on my river trip would you have washed your bag out in that river or not or would you or would you worry about it not drying in time what, what is the drying time on it Has it I been I don't know I haven't washed it as bad as that sounds it still smells good I haven't washed it we'll see <laughs> uh, what's how old's this bag let's let's test this Yeah, it still, still smells, uh... The Velcro's still working at the top. And what's the inside of yours like? Yeah, it still smells nice. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, and that's a good year, what, what isn't it? Yours like, then? Yeah, mine's good. So it's recent. How many times have you washed well, this? Mrs. Bushwhacker washed it in the river for me. So <laughs> it's got a bit of a twang to it, there, doesn't it? I won't try any lower down. But yeah. <laughs> oh, that smells. Yeah, it smells like the river. Why? Uh, Ragnar's. Yeah. Yeah. So very happy, guys, and. Uh, I think it's time to to get in them and we we'll do the the speed test, yeah. Yeah. So, so we're gonna do a get in it, zip it all all the way to the top, do the velcro up. I'll do my velcro, and then uh, get out as quick as we can. We'll do the scenario. You know, you're at night. You're at camp, and. Uh, you need a number one or number two and you've got to get out a bit rapid. Yep. <laughs> okay. Right, so we're just getting them now. Hope I don't fall asleep in mine. Yeah, Once safe. I get it's so lovely this because as soon as I get in it, I just want to go to sleep. Well you take a long time to go off in that, don't you? Because of the itchiness. Oh yeah, sure. So <laughs> Yours I'll is like a pet it. farm, isn't it? <laughs> Our heads are going to be lower than our feet, but oh well. <laughs> so I'm about, um, what would you say I am? Five, six, five, five? Yeah, five, 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 six. And I've still got a lot of room once I get in the bag at the, the feet area or at the top, depending how far or down you sleep. <laughs> See, the thing I like about this as well, you've got that great zip. I don't know if you can see this, guys. You've got that great zip, but then you've got the, the Velcro tab. Oh, this is quite cute, isn't it? So, it, yeah, it's nice. What we what we need though is a nice cup of tea and a few biscuits, <laughs> Becky. But this this tab here is uh, is really good for the wind and obviously heat retention. Cause you do you know on some bags, not saying just certain bags, they'll lose heat through their zip. But that eradicates that. Nice um, touch. Do you have a, a a bit inside for your zip? No, you don't. No, baffles. Oh, this. Is this inside? Yeah, that's inside. Oh, that's inside. Yeah, so it's doubly insulated. That's good then. Oh, and uh, you have toggles on the top to tighten. Yeah. No, I've got no baffle. Well, one baffle. <laughs> oh. I've got a holly bush. All the way to the top. Oh, it's a bit warm. I'm going to sleep. 
So how are we looking, guys? Can you top up? Yeah. Well, you count. Becky's going to count us down, isn't there? Bex? What are we doing? Ten? Becky? <laughs> what are you doing? She's WD-40 in the zip, guys. She's putting oil on the zip. Hurry up, because I'm cooking in here. It's so warm, this bag. Ready? Well, what are we doing? Are you going to count us down? Count, to, count from five. Okay, get your head in there, don't cheat. Right in. <laughs> right. Five. What are we doing? Five, four, three, two, one, and go on zero? Yeah. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. <laughs> 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 Oh, so let's see, did you get right to the bottom there? <laughs> yeah. You got right to the bottom, I only got halfway. I, yeah, I think you won there just, just about. <laughs> Almost fell over though. <laughs> so, superior zip on that though, that is quick, it is a quick bag. And yeah, that, I'll zip. give it that, it's got a quick zip. Mine isn't the fastest of zips. No, it's not the greatest of zips, but... But it does Beggars the job. can't be choosers. Mine uh, wins on the bag, yours wins on the zip, sort of thing. I think mine wins. So if you merge all round. the two together, they make a great bag. No, all round. All round. All round. Better performer. I Compact. bet yours don't have a little pocket inside, though. Yeah, I've got a pocket. A little secret pocket. Yeah, that's where I keep my secret sweets for nighttime snacks. Where is it then? It's so secret you can't find it. Because <laughs> yeah, there isn't one. There is. Somewhere. Out. Somewhere. Uh, oh, Where? what just fell out? Oh, that's my secret. <laughs> I can't my secret pocket. But it is in here somewhere, guys. Somewhere. It's probably See, on the mine's other side. Easy access right at the top, so I can grab my phone up yeah, but there. The thing is, with your bag, it's not reversible. This reversible. is this is reversible, so I'm getting wear and tear on both sides. With that, you're just getting wear on the outside all the time. So long term, I think this would supersede this. Well, we have to see, won't we? Yeah. After so, a couple well, of years. Yeah. This is well, my year and a half in, and it's it's as good as the dial ball. It's been in the machine four or five times and in the river and uh, we've done we've done some good sleep outs in these yeah and like I said I can't say enough for that bag what's your compression sack like it's not the best is it no I wouldn't recommend the compression sack for this bag um, it's just the toggle isn't the best it's just not great I feel the bag could get compressed a lot smaller than the bag lets you um, other than that it compresses so low down because the feathers get squashed really easily and then when I take it out the bag it kind of explodes and uh, it's just so comfy um, I really recommend this bag it's uh, probably better than my duvet at home is it better than this though yeah, far better. This, if you like hammock camping, guys, th this is your bag. If you like sleeping outside, this that's, is that's the this is the best one to get. Yeah, so warm, so comfy, and it's a really pretty bag as well. So yeah, I think that's us done. Yeah. I can't say no more about this, other than it's great. Two complete different bags, but they both really work well for both of us, so... Yeah, both very happy. Right, cheers, and uh, thank you for joining me on my video. Thanks, Becky. Go over to uh, Bushwhacker Man uh, if you want to see some, some great videos, similar to my channel, but 
not quite up there. <laughs> I'm joking. He's got an amazing channel. Um, really inspiring. So, bushwhacker man. And what's my saying? What's my motto, Becky? Well, I say at the end of every video. Enjoy the great outdoors. Yeah. Is that your... Yeah? Can we use that one to wrap this video up? Okay, yeah. Just this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> You're going to say it? Oh, uh, you say it. Oh, I say it. Yeah, I like you saying it because I always say it on my videos. Okay. I'd like to hear it from... From a, like a female perspective. All right, three, two, one. Enjoy the great outdoors. Thanks, guys, and take care. Cheers. <laughs>